To better understand pain in the low back, we need to know something about the anatomy of the low back. Here, as if you were looking at somebody from their left side, you see the bones of the spine all lined up, one on top of each other. These bones are separated by a cartilage that we call the disc. Now, this disc in between the bones functions like a joint and allows some movement of the bones. Not the sort of movement that you think of when you consider a hip joint or a, a joint at the elbow, but still there's some movement. Because of this movement, these joints or discs can undergo a process of wear and tear that we call degenerative disc disease. Degenerative disc disease may sound scary, but it's actually that aging process that all of our spines undergo over a lifetime of lifting and bending and injuries that we might incur. For the most part, degenerative disc disease is well tolerated with an ache and a pain here and there and occasionally a, a pretty good bout of back pain after moving suitcases or furniture. On the other hand, some patients may suffer a rather serious injury to the disc. Wear and tear can result in large fissures or tears within this disc that can be quite painful, leading to muscle spasms and protracted back pain and difficulty with function that can go on for an extended period of time. In addition to these sorts of problems that we deal with in the low back, we also have to consider the nerve tissue aspect of the back. Coming out of the spine, what you see here, are nerves. Now these nerves travel down from the brain through the spinal cord and then come out of the bony spine just as you see them here. These nerve roots supply function to the lower extremities. If a portion of this disc should splinter and move out of position, it's easy to see that it could push and put pressure on the nerve and jam the nerve against the bone. When that happens, the patient has a pinched nerve or ruptured disc causing radiculopathy. That compression of the nerve may result in significant pain, weakness, and loss of feeling, and may even necessitate a surgical approach. If you'd like to see more uh, about what we do to treat those sorts of things, you can look at the video next door.